Ethan, first things first, uh, score the try at the death to win again, must be a good feeling one change for you. Yeah, it is, yeah, massively. I mean, it's a pre-season game, but the intensity is still there, and, you know, we never want to go into a game, you know, looking to lose, so to be able to snatch it back after after come, coming from a bit of a deficit is brilliant. First half, under the cosh a bit, you responded well and created pressure, but no points. Was it just a case of remaining patient? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think this told towards the end there, you know, we kept that pace going, sometimes playing out of our own 22 to, to, go, to go the length, so... Um, it's, it was just a bit of a slow start for us to begin with, but you know we came through it in the end. Two tries for yourself. We talk about the first one. Tell us about the gap. I don't know where it came from, mate. Just a little bit of rocket fuel before the game, I suppose. Um, I don't know. Reese Marshall made a good break and, and, and an awesome off, though, which I think caught everyone off guard, which gave me a bit of a head start that I probably needed and uh, managed to just get in, jump over the whitewash. And then talk to us about the second one to create a move like that and score at the death, uh, looking pretty clean. Yeah, hugely. I think Ben Nutley was down with a bit of a niggle and uh, managed to get up like Lazarus and do a massive uh, bit of a run up the pitch. I was just lucky to get on the end of it and, and get the ball over the line. Finish pretty season and defeat it's not always about the results but how much does it mean to have won the three games for three usually i mean we're, we're a team that wants to win we don't want to go out to lose so um to, to come out of this with three wins out of three you know we had a really tight game against wash last week we had a good run out against Saris, and now to come back from something like this was a big test of character especially for the young lads coming on and then you know we showed what we're about it's about playing here again it's always nice to play in the gardens but a bit of a surreal one today i guess yeah it's a bit of a weird atmosphere i don't think i've ever been here when there's been absolutely no one i mean even Wandies, we get a we get a big old crowd. So to play with no one here was uh, was a bit odd. But to be back out on the pitch and back in Franklin's Gardens, you know, it's a feeling that everyone wants.